And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into it, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Scottish football content. On Sunday, Celtic travel to Rugby Park to take on Premiership new boys Kilmarnock. Celtic are just off the back of an away victory to Ross County, where they left it late to come away with all three points. Ahead of Sunday's clash, Ange Posagoglu provided some interesting news regarding three subjects. Firstly, he provided an injury update on Rio Atate and claimed that the midfielder would miss this weekend's match as he doesn't want to risk the player on the artificial surface. He said, Rio's okay, but this game will give him another week. On the artificial surface, we think it's probably best he has another week of training and is available for next week. Meanwhile, defender Stephen Welsh is back in contention after missing the visit to Ross County with illness. However, will be assessed before the match upon making the match day squad. Ange Postagoglu also provided a transfer update and rubbished the rumours of Alex Collado. Over the week, the hoops have been linked to Barcelona midfielder Alex Collado, but Postagoglu stressed there is nothing in the stories. Although he didn't want to be drawn into links with Collado, he did say that he wants to add two more players depending on who moves out. He told Sky Sports, If I was going to speak about a specific player, then I'd be here all day. We've done most of our business, the stuff we've needed to do is done, but we will stay active. There's possibilities of guys moving out and we're still keen to bring in one or two more, but they've got to be the right ones. At the moment, we are not in talks and negotiations with anyone, so anyone being linked with us isn't coming from us. We will stay active over the next few weeks and see how things go. We are in a position where we are really happy with the business we've done. I'm really happy to be able to sign Jota and Cameron Carter-Vickers on a permanent basis, which is really important as they've helped make our squad stronger. It's about the right ones now and if they become available, we'll move for them. Celtic fans, what do you make of today's news and what do you think the score will be this weekend? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's short update video guys. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Scottish football content. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.